This is the Mars M1 Enhanced, a combined wireless video transmission and monitor system. And this is the updated version of the Hollyland Mars M1. And when I pulled this out of the box, just looking at the design, I could tell that this was a premium product. The case is plastic, but has a real quality feel to it. Now the Mars M1 Enhanced weighs in at just 400 grams. It's incredibly portable, making it a great choice for on the go filmmakers. You've got a 5.5 inch touchscreen, which has a resolution of 1920 by 1080. And with a brightness of up to 1000 nits, you've got a fair amount of light, which I think is perfect for indoors, but you are going to struggle a little bit outdoors in brighter conditions. Whoa, so just as a little FYI, Hollyland did very kindly send me this Mars M1 enhanced unit, but all thoughts and opinions contained in this video of this unit are that of my own. So with that, let's get back to the video. So of course, the Mars M1 enhanced is not just a standalone monitor. It's an all-in-one wireless video solution, and it can easily be switched between transmitter or receiver mode. It's also backwards compatible with some of Hollyland's older transmitters. So you can pair it with the original Hollyland Mars 4K, the 400S Pro, the 300 Pro, and you can also link up multiple Mars M1 monitors to this as well. Hollyland also take it a step further and allow you to connect up to four mobile devices using the dedicated app. This means that your director, your producer, the guy that does the coffee run, or anyone else on your set can have a live video of your footage right in the palm of their hand, which is really a game changer for collaborative workflows. And just bouncing off of that point, Hollyland have given us the Hollyview app. This app enhances your preview and monitoring capabilities with various image analysis functions, including image overlays, anamorphic de-squeeze and sharpness adjustments. It's like having a portable control center right in your pocket. Let's talk a little bit more about the technical side. The Mars M1 Enhanced boasts a bit rate of 13 megabits per second, ensuring a high quality video feed with a transmission latency of around 0.08 seconds so you can trust that what you see on the screen is what you're getting in real time ish roughly the line of sight range extends to an impressive 150 meters or 450 feet giving you the freedom to move without sacrificing connectivity but of course these results are found by testing in ideal conditions if you're not shooting line of sight you will probably notice a drop in that distance when you start to lose signal when it comes to connectivity the mars m1 enhanced supports up to 4k 30 frames per second hdmi input and loop out along with an sdi input providing extensive connectivity options to meet the demands of professional video production. So the Mars M1 Enhanced is touchscreen, so you can just tap the screen and it brings up all your menus here. And it's really easy to toggle through your different scopes. So we have down here, we have our waveform and all we have to do is tap that on and off. We have our histogram, we have our vector scope, we have our zebra lines, we have our focus assist. Over here, we also have our false color. And if we wanna put a LUT on, just tap that LUT on. And we've got the Canon C-Log Cube. And if we wanted to install other LUTs or try other LUTs, we can just go to this accessory menu here and we can choose different LUTs. So from here, we can choose the Canon C-Log 2. And then we have our Sony S-Log, Sony S-Log and also we can import a log here if we want to as well. If we want to bring up our other wireless menus, we can tap the top of the top menu bar here, and then we've got our wireless display system and device info. So we can easily change the device from transmitter to receiver by doing that and hitting OK. And we can change or switch the channel from here as well. We can also go to the display and we can change our brightness so at the moment it's 100%, um, so that will be using the full 1000 nits, we can pull that up and down. And also we can modify the RGB values if we wanted to as well. Come over to system and you'll notice that we can select the input, so whether we are using the HDMI, the SDI. Uh, there is also a fan option here, we can choose our language and we can also display the volume if we wanted to. And the final one is just the device information in case you need to connect it. And again, you can connect your Wi-Fi up on your phone or other mobile device and then just use this password. So once we've downloaded the Hollyview app, we can connect to our Mars M1 enhanced device using this Wi-Fi name and Wi-Fi passcode. And then when we select it, all we need to do is connect. And it's almost as simple as that. Very quickly, we have connected to our Mars M1 device. You can view this on four separate devices and it comes with a bunch of other features. It has similar features to the Mars M1, so we can bring up waveforms, 
histogram, vector scope, focus, focus lines, zebra, and also we can toggle the transparency. There's a bunch of other things in here as well. So should you get one of these? Well, this depends a lot on what you're looking to use it for. If you already have the Mars M1, getting the enhanced version might not be much of an update for you. It's probably best to stick with what you already have. And if you're a solo shooter that's starting out who doesn't really need to share their video wirelessly, then it's not really a necessity to get this. You can purchase other monitors that do a good enough job. But if you are someone who needs multiple eyes on your live video, for example, commercial shoots, filmmaking, or event videography, then this is a great option to add to your client offering. And the fact that Hollyland have made it compatible with a lot of their older legacy products makes things really convenient for your projects and your workflow. For me personally, I think this is a fantastic piece of kit. It's robust, the menu system is simple to learn and easy to use, and it just works. And when you're on a shoot, that's all you really want, something that works. So those are my thoughts on the Mars M1 Enhanced. What about you? If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. And if you liked today's video, don't forget to give us a like. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit the little bell for notifications. And now that you've watched this video, make sure that you go check out my review video on the Mars 400S over here, or this video over here that YouTube thinks you should watch. In the meantime, stay creative, imagine, implement, and inspire. And I will catch you next time on Kai Creative.